On this episode of the Exactly How Podcast and YouTube show, we uncover the top five REI business success strategies. See you in a second. You're listening to the Exactly How Podcast, where you'll hear the underground, closely guarded wealth building secrets of successful people around the globe. Discover exactly how to improve your mental, physical, and financial health. Feel better, make more money, live, give, and prosper. In today's exciting, fast-paced world, filled with opportunity for those who know exactly how. Welcome to the Exactly How podcast and YouTube show brought to you by Connected Investors. Now, during this episode, you'll discover exactly how to navigate through selling virtual REO properties. Now, for those of you who are new, my name is Sean Young, today's host and proud member of the Connected Investors community. Now, before I introduce you to our incredible guest speaker today, I want to make a request that if at any point in the show you like what you're hearing, please give us a thumbs up or subscribe to the show so that you don't miss an episode. And make sure to take a look in the description of this episode as we've packed it with thousands of dollars in free resources. Now today, we have the privilege to learn from someone who has founded a free and clear investing model, which includes buying better than no money down with 0% owner financing. Now, prior to their career in real estate, they were a marketing consultant, but all that changed when he got a chain letter in the mail in 1984, which started their path to searching income opportunities and personal success science. I would describe our guest as creative. I'd like to give a warm welcome to Richard Roop. Richard, thanks for being a guest on today's show. Hey, I, I'm excited to be here, Sean. It's good to be with you. That is awesome. Well, Richard, before we get going, can you tell our audience just a little bit about where you're from, what market you're in, and just a little bit about yourself? Well, I've been um, buying and selling properties since 1996 as a real estate entrepreneur, but I actually bought some properties in Hawaii after I got out of the Air Force mm -hmm. uh, back in the 80s, where the Japanese were buying up real estate, prices were going up, and I used my VA loan to buy a couple properties, no money down, and then they, they actually uh, doubled in value over two years. And oh, I got wow. <laughs> two so, years wow <laughs> i know so i uh i i that's 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 how i got the real estate bug but i was uh i studied with all the marketing gurus i was the marketing director for a company in hawaii uh nlp.com mm -hmm. build that company and then i i left that and became a, a marketing consultant after i learned you know, from all my marketing gurus, and and that that helped us build a multi-million dollar business. Later on, I moved to Colorado in in '95, and that marketing consultant. And then, but in 1996, I got some training. I started uh, buying buying, uh, you know, as a real estate entrepreneur. And with my marketing background, I was able to create some killer marketing tools. And I started quickly buying houses every month. And I bought over 500 houses until I actually, I actually retired, Sean, about five years ago and took, took, took a break. Mm -hmm. uh, but earlier this year, I, I, I'm back in the game and um, I'm excited. The bug bit you again, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's a, there, I think everybody should have a business mm -hmm. and as a creative or you know, as a real estate entrepreneur or real estate investor, it's one of the best businesses on the planet. Indeed, I, I would definitely agree with you. I would definitely agree with you. Now, now, Richard, before we dive into the top five REI business success strategies, you would say you contribute a lot of your success to overcoming fear and worry. You know, can you tell our listeners why that is? I think success in anything that you do uh, is all about the the inner game. So I actually train and coach other real estate investors. I've been doing that for 20 years mm -hmm. and I can give them all the best tools and strategies and techniques, but it all comes down. It's like 80% of success over 80% of your success is the mental mindset, the inner game. And so we've found, we've been very, you know, that was the company in Hawaii was, was on neuro linguistic programming, personal growth and development. So I have a good background in that. And that's the number one thing I can do to help people is 
is get rid of those negative, you know, emotions of fear, uh, worry, anger, sadness, guilt, that type of thing. Once you can over now fear, as you know, Sean, fear is one of the biggest things that hold people back. So if anything's just call it fear. (laughs) And then there's just simple things that work to overcome fear and worry. That's just negative goal setting, you know, with the law of attraction and you kind of drawn to what you focus in on people that are worrying they're focusing on what they don't want mm-hmm. myself and you know with my clients i i folk i have them focus on exactly what they want in their real estate business and and if they have any fear come up just focus in on the outcome what's the ideal outcome you want to get you know in the future once you get past that and the fear disappears sometimes now, I think what you just said there is huge, and it's, uh, it's highly crucial to our, our audience and our listeners out there. You know, a, a lot of folks always hear, you know, have a positive mindset, have a positive mindset, but you really just took it like a step further by, by, by identifying the way that you did, and I, I really appreciate that. And guys who are listening, you know, don't let that just pass you by. That was a very important golden nugget there, guys. Your mindset really determines and dictates where you're headed. What you focus on, it will only grow. So it's it, it, focus your energy and, and time on things that you want to occur, not what you don't want to occur. It's just how it works, guys. If you're always trying to avoid getting stung by a bee, it's, it's, you're probably going to get stung by a bee one of these times. Yep, absolutely. So guys, you know, what makes the Financial Freedom Podcast and YouTube show unique is that each and every show comes with a detailed action plan. Now, what we do is we pull the steps out of each show, create a blueprint on how to implement exactly what we're covering. Plus, you get to see our free training right now. All you have to do is text the word exactly to 910-600-0630 to see for yourself. And you can find properties in any town for pennies on the dollars with this software that I use each and every day, guys. So remember, all you have to do is visit connectedinvestors.com forward slash free to get the key takeaways, the resources, and access to a copy of multiple offer deal structuring software with training videos. Now, Richard, what does this copy include? Uh, The the copy of my software? Yes. It's okay. Well, we, we talked about the free and clear investing model. We actually call it the ultimate strategy for buying and selling houses. Mm -hmm. Uh, because you can buy anything, anywhere, any price range. Um, you can make any property cash flow. And in order to do that, you really need to crunch the numbers mm-hmm. and, and negotiate some seller financing. So if you're buying a property where the seller is getting some money, mm-hmm. you know, uh, they have equity. If you play with their equity and, and, and push it out into the future, you can calculate how much you'll make by getting, like we said, 0% financing, Mm -hmm. you can add that to the normal price you might offer if you were paying all cash. So I have deal structuring software that uh, takes all your numbers and it creates multiple offers, whether you're giving them, you know, whether it's an all cash offer or some cash or no cash and everything in between, whether they, they wait for their money for five years or 10 years or 15 years. So it's really makes uh, negotiating with sellers extremely easy because you're just basing it on what the property can afford. And if they want, if they want more cash or they want a higher price or they want more cash flow on the deal, um, the, 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 the free and clear offer generator software calculates all those numbers for you, spits out multiple offers and helps you get a lot more deals uh, accepted. If you're uh, negotiating seller financing. So that's what I've, I've created a number of deal structuring software programs. Mm-hmm. And that's the, the main one that I've created in my free and clear cash machine. And it's a $500 program mm-hmm. and they can, I'm going to, I'm willing to uh, go ahead and give it for free so people can kind of check it out and maybe uh, spark their interest in going after these free and clear houses. Wow, that is awesome. I'll definitely take advantage of that for sure. <laughs> so guys, did you hear that? I mean, Richard is breaking it down for you. Now, maybe let me let me not take for granted that our, our listeners actually even know what, what owner finance and, or, or seller financing is. In, in a brief, you know, kind of scenario, can you explain to us what, what owner financing is? 
and, and kind of what that looks like from just a, a basic deal scenario? Yeah. Well, yeah. When you buy a house, they have a, if they have a mortgage, mm -hmm. you, you're going to pay off the mortgage typically um, and then give them cash for their equity, whatever's left over between what they owe, mm -hmm. what you're buying it for. Okay. So one of the things you can do is you can ask them, well, instead of giving you $40,000 for your equity, I'll pay off your loan. Instead of getting $40,000 for your equity, why don't you take back a note, a mortgage, okay? And I will give you reliable monthly payments. And instead of giving you $40,000 now, I'll give you $60,000 over the next period of time, okay? Allows you to up up the price. So seller financing is when they're not getting all their money and they're taking their money either down the road in a lump sum balloon or with some monthly payments. So they're, they're being the bank. Awesome. So basically, guys, they're being the bank. They're being the bank. Now, but they're not a bank. So we, ought, we, we tell them, you know, the monthly payment, it's principal only payments. Mm -hmm. if they ever say, where's my interest? I says, well, uh, if you want to loan me some money, uh, I, I can give you some interest, private money, right? But, uh, you know, this is how I can get you your price. If, if we add interest, that's going to lower the price and you're going to have to maybe pay taxes on the interest. So this is how we wor worked it out for you. So it's, yeah, they're being the bank, but they're, they don't have big overhead where they, they need interest. <laughs> and that is crucial. That is a, a crucial point, Richard. Definitely thank you for pointing that out to our listeners. That is a, a very important part there. So guys, as a nearly a million people know, the Connected Investors, it is a social network of real estate investors and it's a marketplace of investment properties. In the description of this video, I've included a link to this episode's forum discussion. So all you guys have to do is head right on over and take a look. So Richard, let's go ahead and dive into the, the strategies for a successful REI business. What would be step one? All right, the first step for a successful real estate investing business Mm -hmm. be create your vision create exactly how you want your business number one treat it like a business okay but get get really clear set a goal okay how do you want your business to look in five years your, your real estate operation mm -hmm. and then want it to look in one year or six months all right mm -hmm. and get, get it like you said, you, fo you, you attract what you focus in on. Whatever you focus in on, you got to get more of that. So focus in on what you want, not what you don't want, and spend some time getting that clarity in your mind of exactly what you want to be doing on a daily basis in your business six months from now. How much money is coming in? What are you doing on a daily basis? How much help do you have? How much profits? Who are you targeting? What type of deals are you doing? You know, where are you doing it? Are you doing it out of your home? Do you have an office? Are you doing it virtually? Are you doing it? Are you a big fish in a small pond locally? Mm -hmm. Create the ideal situation. And, uh, and then um, that then there's, there's five steps, Sean, to get whatever you want. And the first step is to set a goal. Okay. Like that. Okay. Looking for some cash for your next flip or rental? Just visit privatelenders.com. Get matched with hundreds of verified lenders from around the country who are looking to help you with your next real estate deal. The next step is to make a plan. So forget about how you're going to get that goal. Make, you know, take the blinders off, take off the limitations. If anybody's done it, you can do it. And mm -hmm. once you set that goal, as long as it's important to you and you can commit to it and, and you want it, you have a reason why, then, then figure out how you're going to do it. Then go ahead and make your plan. F figure out exactly how you're going to create that vision. And then step number three is plan your work. Take the things in your plan and get it into your schedule. So you're actually doing those, those critical uh, result area activities. Mm -hmm. And then what I say, Sean, is don't think during the week. Just operate off your game plan. Just operate off your schedule. Okay? All the important things are in there. If you get those things done, you're on your way. Right? And then the last thing would be 
you're going to get some feedback. You're not going to be on target the whole time. So if you ever get off target, uh, you know, go, go ahead and adjust as needed. So you want to, you know, be on top of your numbers and be on top of your progress. So you, if you know that you're on, on track. That is awesome. That is great, great feedback. Now, now th those are all great tips. And I really like how you broke down those five steps to even be successful in, in any area of life. That, that is awesome, Richard. That is awesome. So now that brings us into, into step two for, for us here. Um, what would you say step two would be? Uh, marketing. I think the number one thing in any business is marketing, just like, and this is a real estate investing business. So of course you need leads, you need buyers, you need sellers, you need other investors, private lenders. So those are marketing campaigns. So I think you should be operating your business off a marketing plan. And to me, marketing is salesmanship multiplied. So the two activities you should be doing, focusing on every day is marketing and sales. So marketing to find the deals, right? And then sales to convert them into cash, okay? So there are seven elements of any marketing plan. So the first element is the market. Who are you gonna target? Mm -hmm. What type of you know, sellers, homeowners, property owners, or what type of situations? And then where geographically you're gonna target. So that's your market. So you could go nationwide and be a virtual wholesaler, right? Mm -hmm. or, or you can go be a big fish. I think people should be a big fish in a small pond, get really familiar with the area that you keep targeting over and over. Okay. So that's your market. Who are you gonna hit? Where are they located? Mm -hmm. okay. and, you, and, and a lot of different investing models, the free and clear investing models, we're targeting free and clear houses, right? Uh, but you might be targeting junker houses or you might be targeting houses with no equity or, or in distress, that type of thing, okay? Mm -hmm have your market, then you want to have a very benefit laden, results driven message to get to that market very cost effective. Okay, and it should be a market to message match. So what's, what can you do for your particular, you know, market, and that should be in your marketing message. And I have some great marketing messages that I've used just almost unchanged for, for decades. Okay, because it's all those all those normal things that we offer as investors. Plus, when we're going after the free and clear, we can say, and we can pay top dollar probably more than any other buyer. Uh, that's kind of a marketing uh, benefit there, okay? It's a sales presentation in print is, is, is your message, right? So then the third, the third element of marketing campaign is how are you gonna get that message to the right people? And that you wanna use multiple types of media. I like postcards, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, for a very targeted list, I like letters. You can call, you can run ads, you can post signs, you can have an ant farm. There's all kinds of ways to get your message out. Okay, I like direct mail, and uh, that's just my preference because I know how to make it work. I have a good message. I know how to target the right people. I know how to design it. So uh, that the different types of media. So that's those are the three elements of a marketing campaign that I learned from uh, Dan Kennedy. Now I added four more, Sean. The next is multiple hits. In order to maximize your results, you wanna hit the same people over and over and over, okay? And you can mix up that, those different types of media. You know, a postcard, a call, a text, a visit, you know, you want them to see your message multiple times because most people, until you've hit them five or more times, they may, you know, you get a real big bump in response if you hit the same people over and over, okay? It's just, okay. So I know why and all that. We don't have to get into that, but we just know it works. Okay. It's like, Sean, if a seller says, no, I don't want to take your offer. That's no number one. We always say get five or more no's, right? Absolutely. So you and you close again, you make your offer. They say no, and you keep going back. And after a few times they say, well, you're okay. But I'll go ahead and do it. Most people give up after the first or second try. All right. Mm -hmm. Same with marketing. Same with marketing. And that's gonna be over time. So the next M, these are the seven Ms. The next M is months. How often are you gonna hit someone over, over a period of time? So if I'm just, Sean, if I'm just mailing to absentee owners that have free and clear houses in my zip codes, right? I don't know if they have a house for sale. So I'm gonna hit them every three or four months, okay? But if I know they have a house for sale, it's an expired listing, or they're in distress or something like that, then I'm gonna hit them more often. So it's gonna be a drip campaign or a rapid campaign over a number of months. 
So you want to hit them five or more times uh, over a period of time. So the, my free and clear houses, absentee owners, we hit them, you know, once a quarter. So for two years, that's the campaign. Okay. And then um, the next M is money. How much are you going to spend to get a deal? And how much are you going to spend on your marketing? And it's, it's really the cost per deal. It's not the cost per lead. It's the cost per deal. And then you got to take a look. What is your average profit per deal? Okay. So you can, you can measure your return on investment. So people talk about the cost of leads. It doesn't matter the cost of leads. It's like if you spent a thousand dollars and you got $10,000 back, right. Then you do it again. Right. Absolutely. Okay. You know, I got some campaigns that give us 20 to 1, 30 to 1, 50 to 1, uh, because it's very targeted and it's very effective. But don't worry about the cost per lead, but it depends on how many leads you need to convert into a deal and your average profit per deal. By the way, Sean, the average profit on these free and clear deals, we usually get 9 to 15 years of owner financing, and our target profit is between 75 and 125000 Wow. So, so Richard, where do you get that profit at for our listeners? Do you get that up front in the middle or at the end? It's a combination of the cash you get now because you collect money when you buy that property. Mm -hmm. So we're usually collecting 10, 20 or 30 grand when we buy it. Mm -hmm. Then we have either a break even cash flow or a positive cash flow. Mm -hmm. We have a break even cash flow. We're given all the net, net, net positive cash flow to the seller on their note. Mm -hmm. getting rapid principal reduction, paying off their note because it's principal only payments, no interest, right? Mm -hmm. So we're, we're, we're paying off what, what they're waiting, the money that they're waiting for. And then down the road, when we sell or refinance the property, that's our back end. So it's, it's usually you're getting 20 grand when you buy it, you might get 40 grand in cash flow, and then another 40 grand on the back end. It all depends on how you structure the deal and which deal the offer uh, the seller takes. But this is really good for people that flip properties because you can, you, can, you can get all the cash if you learn how to make some multiple creative offers to the people that won't sell at a deep discount or the discount that you need to make it a deal. Mm -hmm. You can come back and say, well, how about if I do this? You can get the 10 or 20 grand that you would make on a flip. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get the 10 or 20 plus the cash flow plus the cash later. That's why the profits are so. So it's cash now, cash flow and cash later. Um, so that on your market, on your, uh, your budget, mm -hmm. like our experiences when we're sending my, like my best postcard to a good targeted list, we might hit a thousand homeowners, right? And get 30 calls, but, and then, and then do about 10 offers and then get one accepted. So those thousand postcards cost about 600 bucks. Okay. So, um, that, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a pretty, that's a pretty good return on investment. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, lately I've been saying, you know, go ahead and budget a thousand cards a month for three months and plan on doing a deal every three months. Right. With an average profit of like maybe a hundred grand, uh, or, you know, 75 to a hundred grand. And you can do a quarter million dollars in cash now, cash flow, cash later, just doing four deals a year on a very, so four deals a year, folks. You could, you could focus in on this, but I think people should add this to what they're already doing. Because if you already have leads, you can actually convert, turn some of your trash into cash by, you know, the people that you can't convert, you can go ahead and make some, some other offers and get those accepted. So you don't even have to, some people, if they got leads, they don't even have to uh, get more leads. And if you know people that, if you know, if you learn how to do this and you're, you're doing it then you can actually get your buddy's leads, he's not doing it. And you can, you know, work his leads and you can do a JV on it. Right. Or, you know, some type of. Because thing. his strategy is totally different. So when he's saying guys, when he's saying like, he's not working those, what he means is he probably worked those leads based on his strategy of potentially wholesaling it. Uh, or maybe fixing and flipping, but like he said, Richard is, is, is explaining a different strategy, guys. So most folks, they, they have leads sitting in their database, and they look at those leads as trash. They're like, yeah, this is just kind well, of trash. It, it, and if they're good, if they're smart, they'll follow up. Mm -hmm. But 
uh, but they keep following up with trying to get maybe maybe their model requires a discount, right? So Same type of model. Want to take a discount, but they want to sell the house. Mm-hmm. And you can offer all the benefits and more money if they wait for some of their money. So you go back and you make those offers. So yeah, it's it, everybody should be doing it. Powerful and, stuff. Powerful. All right, and then the last M of the seven M's of an epic marketing campaign is mindset, and we kind of talked about that. Mm-hmm. Now in Marketing, everything's a test, right? And so there, there really is no failure. There's only feedback. So once you try a campaign, if it's not what you get, you expect, then you adjust it or try something else. So mo- all marketing is a test. So you can't really fail at marketing. You, you, you do as much as you can up front to uh, try and make it work, you know, on the first go. So awesome that's, stuff. that's the marketing campaign. Awesome. So, Richard, you have given us a, a lot of great, great information. Um, how can folks out there get a hold of me? What do, can if folks want to learn how to potentially do, uh, you know, the type of structure, the type of uh, uh, seller or owner finance that you discussed? I mean, do you have something out there or is there something out there they can get a hold of you aside yeah, from your software? Uh, absolutely. Um, I'm, my gift to the audience is that free and clear offer generator software. Mm-hmm. I'll do is um, if they request that, then they, I will get some, I'll throw some training videos in there so they understand this free and clear model. Mm-hmm. And I'm happy to do that for free. They can go to uh, rupodia.com. That's R O O P, uh, Richard Roop, <laughs> Rupodia, R O O P, like in poop. O-D-I-A, rapodia.com forward slash exactly how. Mm-hmm. And I'll go ahead and have that package put together and it'll be free. They can just access it for free. That is awesome, guys. Great, great value, guys. Thank you, Richard, so so much for, for offering that to our, our viewers and our, and our audience out there. Um, I mean, this has, has been a great, great session, a great interview, and I appreciate you taking the time out. Um, you know, Richard, before we, we let you go today, we, we have a tradition on this show that we call the rapid fire session. And uh, this is where I basically ask you a list of questions and uh, you just give me the, the quickest answer that comes to mind. All right. All right. Let's do it. All right. On a scale of one to 10, Richard, how strict were your parents? Uh, they were like a four, not that strict. Okay. Get up early or stay up late? I get up early. And stay up late. <laughs> <laughs> How many hours of sleep do you get each night? I, I get um, I get about six or seven hours of sleep. Okay. Favorite or last book read? The Secret of Creating Your Future by Dr. Tad Jane. Okay. If you could be any superhero, Richard, who would it be? Captain America. Okay. Something everyone should do less of. Waste their time. Be, flounder. Important. Something that everyone should do more of. Focus, create, create goals and, and focus on them and work on them. Just decide what you want and go for it. Bitcoin, bang or bust? I bought Bitcoin at seventy eight dollars. Um, I think it it's unknown. It's it's speculative, is what it is. It's it's I have play money in Bitcoin. Okay. Will people live on Mars in your lifetime? They already live there. There you go. Well, guys, you have all made it to the end of the show, and most people never finish what they start, so you guys are all special. Now, if, now, if you got any value out of the show today, make sure that you share this video with a friend or on your Facebook page. Like the video, subscribe to our channel, and send us topics that you want to learn more about. And guys, like I said, nearly a million people use the Connected Investor social network and marketplace to connect. Now, in the description of this episode, we've included a link to this episode's forum discussion. All you have to do is tap that link, ask me and other pros questions, and see what other investors are saying about this episode.
So guys, until the next time, you can catch me on the inside of Connected Investors. See you inside. The Connected Investors app connects you with investors, notifies you of available properties, helps locate cash buyers, and secure private funding to close deals. Set up in seconds to become a member of the Connected Investors social network. Now you can scroll through your main feed to find cash buyers, see investment properties not available to the general public, and network with investors by adding your own comments to a thread to keep the conversation going. The Control Center is your connection to add properties to sell, start new discussions, connect with local investors, and even find private funding. The Notifications tab will keep you alerted to new investment properties and offers. You'll also find new friend requests to connect directly with the community to build your network. From the Property Marketplace, you'll be able to find, favorite, and make offers on investment properties. Download Connected Investors today to find, figure, fund, and flip investment properties on the go.